We've got to the point in Football Manager 23 now where a lot of you will know the majority of players who are good in the game, the hidden gems and whatnot. However, today we've tried to collate a team of 11 overpowered young players that you might not have heard of who could be great additions for your team. Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout and as mentioned today we're looking at some great young players in FM23 that there's a big chance you haven't heard of who are also very good and most of them very good value for money as well. I haven't heard of most of these people, these players came from your guys' suggestions in previous comments in the Most Overpowered series. We asked you guys to give us your hidden gems that you didn't think other people were signing and we've got a great list today of 11 players. If you do enjoy the video please go ahead and smash that like button for us, it really does help a lot. So Subscribe if you haven't already as we get close to 165,000 subs and comment down below your favorite hidden gem player in FM23. And with that being said, let's get started. And in goal, we're going for a Brazilian player, 20-year-old Andrew da Silva Ventura, also just known in-game as Andrew, who plays for Portuguese side Gil Vicente as their first choice goalkeeper. He's valued at about £2 million at the start of most of your saves and has good ability right from the off. I'm not saying he's world class or anything like that. Obviously, if he was, you'd already know about him. But as far as under-the-radar goalkeepers go, Andrew's one of them that's just waiting for the right opportunity to develop. Being a first choice keeper at his club, he will get that development. I've actually seen him personally hands-on in the Aberdeen series I did on my channel. He was nearly our goalkeeper. We didn't sign him, but he did end up going on to be a Brazilian international playing for Santos as their starting goalkeeper. You guys, if you got him early enough, maybe if you gave him game time, could even exceed those expectations. He has great ability, good potential as well. He's an eccentric goalkeeper with good reflexes, doesn't tend to rush out. His passing distribution is strong. Maybe his throwing and his kicking need a bit of work, but he has got plenty of time to develop yet. Goalkeepers develop a little bit later in their career, but Andrew is already looking like a very talented option in the net. Martin Vitek is our next player in this team. We're moving into our defenders now, and he is a six foot four Czech Republic 19 year old centre back. He's playing for Sparta Prague out in the Czech division. And the big thing that sticks out straight away about Vitek here is that he's six foot four, already under 21 experience with 16 strength and very good physical attributes all around. Just because he's strong and tall doesn't mean he's slow by any means. He's actually fairly quick in terms of his acceleration and also his pace. He's got that going for him. Mentally, he's already in a pretty strong position. His determination is low in this save. If that's the same in your save, maybe you'll want to mentor him to get that out of him. But he positions himself extremely well for such a young player decent marking ability good tackler he's okay in the air as well and can pass he might need a bit of work in the technical elements of his game but as far as young center backs go if you're looking for someone on the cheap i say on the cheap he's a bit more expensive than some in this list but for six or seven million to sign a player who's going to be guaranteed a future international for his national side and is playing regular football for a european level team at sparta prague it goes to show this man could be a great player for you in game if you're able to get your hands on him again all of these suggestions came from you guys in comments from previous videos and this was a player that I had never ever heard of. His name is Louis Patry and he's playing for OHL, a side out in the Belgian divisions. He's 21 years old and he plays as a right back. He's very quick with 16 acceleration and 15 pace. Really good work rate as well from a 21 year old. He's really cheap at about 1 million and clearly has a bright future in game with these kind of attributes only being 21. Is he ever going to be like playing for PSG at right back? Obviously not. But if you're looking for a player who could maybe grow in to a low-level Premier League level right back, then Patry could definitely be that man. He just needs the opportunity and the game time. But he's decent in crossing, nice marking ability and tackling. Seems to prefer the defensive elements of being a right back, but certainly has a bright future and could be a great talent if you're able to pick him up. Maybe the most well-known name on this list, though, is our next centre-back, Adamo Nogalo of FC Norseland, who has been one of the best gems that you can get in this year's Football Manager. A £2 million pound Burkino Faso 19 year old centre back with great physical attributes straight away nice mental ability and nice technical ability when he was suggested in the comments the guy who suggested him they said that this player is pretty much guaranteed to be a low level premier division centre back and I could definitely see that he has got the ability already an important player at one of Denmark's biggest sides as well in Norseland there good value for money for sure plenty of potential to get way better yet nice tackling ability marking and the physicals are really well rounded he's not particularly quick strong or 
or great in the air, but he's not weak in any area and you can really mold him now and develop him from this point into a top level center back any way that you choose really. A quick side note before we continue, if you do enjoy this kind of content and you want more players like this, then please feel free to check out my channel linked in the description down below. Over there, we do have some rebuilds every single week, football manager content that I'm sure you'd love, but we also do YouTube shorts on wonder kids that you might not have heard of. So do come over, hit the subscribe button for us over there. I'd massively appreciate it, but let's continue with our list. And our final defender is another one that I've had plenty of hands-on experience with, and that is Goncalo Estevez of Sporting Club de Portugal. He can really become one of the best right backs in the world for sure. Wanted by Newcastle, Tottenham and Wolves here at only the age of 18, and you can see why, because for about £2 million, you are getting a player whose physicals are already looking very good. He's got good work rate, nice dribbling ability, first touch, passing, tackling and technique. He's got some flair in there as well, some off the ball work, a right back who loves to go forward and at the age of 18 he's about ready to start getting some game time and if you give him that he can develop into a brilliant right back I had him in the Aberdeen save that I did on my channel where he played right back for a number of years for us and we were getting offers of 40 50 million from the likes of PSG at some points because he really did become one of the best in the world and that was only a couple of seasons in by the way when he was tearing up the Scottish division so if you do give him the chance to grow he can become an elite right back a Portuguese international it's all in his future if you just give him that chance to play. Moving into midfield now and we have our only English player in this list. One of the more expensive options it is Adam Wharton of Blackburn. Now I've played a lot of football manager this year, had plenty of players in my teams and he is one that I did actually get to experience myself. He went on in our Blackburn rebuild to become a Premier League level midfielder not just Premier League level, England international Adam Wharton valued at about 10 million. This guy has huge, huge potential. He'll get minutes for Blackburn pretty early on and at the age of 18 he is ready to play at that championship level good with both feet but ideally is left footed can play deeper as a defensive midfielder or in the center of that midfield nice physical attributes but needs some work but really it's his mentals where he's beyond his years and his technicals where he's looking very strong already to be a good box presence in both areas maybe not the best finisher but he's got really nice passing ability with the technique the vision and the passing can dribble well good on the set pieces as well can play across in actually you know what maybe I'm wrong maybe deep line playmaker would better suit Adam Wharton at this early stage but with some development he can become an elite level talent and I'm not just saying that I've seen it happen he is a phenomenal player and someone that has a big big future and one that you might not have given a chance to in your save so if you haven't feel free to try him out because you might be surprised by just how well he can do. Next to him is a player that I never would have came across but was one of your guys' suggestions and I really am blown away by him. He's someone that I want to sign in pretty much every save now and his name is Matthias Galaza, a Paraguayan 20-year-old with no international experience at any youth level by the looks of it, playing for VDG, which I believe is Vasco da Gama in the second division of Brazil. I believe this is also the side where Andre Santos might have been. I could be wrong there there but Matthias Galaza here is a box-to-box -box midfielder in the truest sense. He can also play on the left or deeper, but he is a 20-year-old central midfielder with 16 finishing, 16 tackling, 16 first touch. Are you guys already seeing what I'm seeing here? He just looks incredibly good. Can pass as well, nice vision, work rate, heading ability, free kicks, dribbling, crossing, physical attributes are decent too. Great off the ball work, can crack a long shot, great mental attributes, and whilst he might not have the biggest potential in the world, to pay about one and a half million for this player would be an unbelievable deal if we're talking about someone who can operate in both boxes make tackles in the box with that 16 tackling but also score goals with that 16 finishing Something must have been done wrong to him to give him these great attributes, but we're not going to complain. He is someone that you should definitely check out in your saves because he could be unreal at any kind of level, really. Another brilliant suggestion in the comments was this man from NAC Brada. They're a team in the second division of Dutch football, and the player's name is Ezekiel Banzuzi. Now, he is a regular starter for the second division side at only the age of 17, can play on the right as a 10 or as a striker. I think as an advanced forward, possibly, he could do a good job but maybe it's suggesting target forward here because he is six foot three he's got good heading ability nice jumping reach he's strong fairly quick as well can finish good first touch good dribbling really good passer as well maybe with a bit of development this guy could be an unreal complete forward if you gave him that opportunity he is someone who I'd never would have came across yet again but it's a great suggestion I could definitely see him being a top level striker with the right chance to develop he really could be that valued at about two million pounds he's definitely one to try out if you haven't already 
already. Don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying up to this point. But now we go over to Germany and Borussia Mönchengladbach, where we are looking at 18-year-old wide player Yvandro Boyes Sanchez, who plays for Luxembourg. Now, when he was suggested, someone did say not only is he good, but he also plays for an obscure nation. And a lot of us do really enjoy having those kind of players from nations you wouldn't expect. And having a player from Luxembourg be this good is very, very interesting for sure. He's got 12 corners, 14 dribbling, 12 first touch, can play on the left or the right. But I think ideally he's going to be cutting in on that right foot from the left, maybe to hit across, maybe as an inside forward to take some shots. He's very direct with the agility, the pace and the acceleration. Good technique too. Obviously a lot to be desired in some areas, but he's only 18, a lot of room to get better. And Mönchengladbach are willing to potentially part with him for only a couple of million. Still got a few years left on his contract, but if you get the chance to try out the Luxembourg International, you could have a gem on your hands and potentially create the greatest talent in this nation's national team. Heading into our final two players now, and we have Luca Oyen as our next option, playing for Genk out in the Belgian divisions. This young Belgian under-21 international does have a huge injury at the start of your save, and that is something to be aware of with his cruciate ligaments being damaged. But if you wait for him to come back, this guy often becomes a top-level player in the Belgian divisions, and he can go to an even higher level than that when given the opportunity because he has everything he needs to really destroy the in-game engine. Apparently, he was born in Nottingham, which I didn't know, but Luca Royan here is very quick. He's rapid with 15 acceleration and 15 pace, and that's when he's injured. When he comes back from injury, you tend to see him having like 17s, 18s in those physical areas. And then on top of that, he's got brilliant, brilliant finishing, great passing vision and technique. The heading ability is there as well. He can dribble well, good first touch. As far as inside forwards go, he can be one of the most dangerous in the game once he gets over that injury, of course. So keep an eye on him, scout him, and then when he comes back, from that injury and he starts to pick up a bit of form bring him to your team and watch him explode into one of the best talents in the world and finally we are looking at Angel Alarcon from Barcelona B you might look at him and think okay he looks alright but the reason he was suggested in the comments was because every time apparently in your saves his contract will run out at the end of the first season with Barcelona and you're able to pick him up for a free that is the reason why he is so cheap here at about £100,000 and he is clearly someone with a lot of ability he's got good consistency and important matches in his hidden attributes which makes him a very dangerous player in game can cut in from that left hand side or play as a winger on the right but if he is cutting in he could be a great inverted winger he's got the physical attributes to be dangerous nice technique passing the technical ability is clearly there he's a player from La Masia the Barcelona Academy so of course he's gonna have that in some aspect he's got 16 flair 14 determination a lot going for the young man and to be able to pick him up on such a cut price deal makes makes him a phenomenal talent. A few years ago, he was worth a lot more than this, but now you're able to get him for so cheap and he's definitely worth taking a look at. And there you go. That's 11 fairly unknown youngsters that you might not have heard of in your football manager saves, all of which have great attributes, are cheap and could potentially be real stars, but maybe they don't get highlighted as often as they should. If you did enjoy the video, smash the like button for us and I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you and goodbye.